Welcome to Local Point, your life, your stories, with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point. I'm your host, Chris Piner. Uh, let's welcome Ron Litton and Nichelle Jackson into the studio today to discuss this year's production of Camelot by the Outlaw Trail Theater. I'm so excited about it. Thank you. Thanks. Well, Thanks thank for you for you. being here. So let's get right into it and talk about it. Ron, okay. when does Camelot open? It opens June 20th on Monday. June 20th runs through uh, Saturday, July 2nd with Every night except Sunday. Every Sunday. night except Sunday. So 12 nights. What a wonderful opportunity. Are there any, uh, well, there wouldn't be matinees. This is outdoor theater. No matinees. It's about uh, 100 degrees on that stage. Yeah. <laughs> let's the let's enjoy the play under the stars yes. and the cool of the evening. Yeah. Right. Oh, that sounds wonderful. How many, how many performances is that? Um, f for this year, 12 or? 12, yeah. a, a run of 12. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a run of 12. And, Michelle, yeah. you're the director this yep, year. Yep, I am. How exciting is that? I've <laughs> watched you for so many years. Yeah. And now you're, do, you're uh, uh, getting your hand in directing. How is that experience? It's been really great. It's, I couldn't have asked for a better cast, really. I mean, I, for all that I've learned about directing, to actually experience it with this level of cast has just been such a such a blessing really you know they've made it so easy for me it's been really great now tell me uh, what what do you mean by that is the cast uh, I, I'm not I only know some of the cast members are they very experienced have they done a lot um, of this kind of thing you know some of them are really experienced and some of them are really new but they have worked together so well I mean since day one they have just really I mean, I've been amazed at how well they work together. Individually, they're all really good, but together they are phenomenal. It's, well, it's from great. an audience perspective, we love watching casts that are cohesive, so this is going to be a great show. Mm -hmm. And how can you miss with Camelot, it's, the wonderful yeah. Camelot? Now tell me a little bit about, now, uh, let's, Ron, mm -hmm. why Camelot this year? Um, I've been wanting to do it for years. Um, I've, I had done the show twice before, once in Murray City in the park and once at Promise Valley Playhouse. And I don't know exactly why I like the show. I like it a lot. I don't, the movie is not my very favorite, but I love the live play. The and, movie was made in a different era yeah. <laughs> to people of that time, yeah. and they loved it. But it's harder for us to watch today, but the, but the stage production. The stage production is special. Oh, oh it is. And uh, last year, I decided for our 30th anniversary of Outlaw Trail Theater that this was the year. Let's do it. Right. And look at you slipping in the history there. That's right. This <laughs> is 30 years for the Outlaw Trail. So many years, so many wonderful shows, so many wonderful actors and technicians and directors who have been involved in the Outlaw Trail Theater over the years. I agree. What a great choice. Yeah. Camelot. Hundreds of people with thousands and thousands of hours have worked on these shows over the years. And That's so, right. Yeah, let's do a classic. And some of them have been, do you have anybody who's been involved all 30 years? Um, yes, Jan Hatch. <laughs> yeah. I, that was the name that was coming to my mind. Is I our thought costume she probably has. Every single show for 30 years, she's been there. Uh, other than that, we're probably at about 24, 25 years yeah. for anybody else. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Many people have, have uh, it's a, a fixture in our mm -hmm. community, something that I think that many of us are very proud of and we look forward to it. So mm -hmm. it's an honor to have you here today. And I'm so excited to see Camelot <laughs> uh, opening on Monday, June 20th. 20th. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I do want to talk about some more of the details of uh, Camelot and some of the things that we can expect to see. Of course, we need to talk about how to get tickets. Just before we go to break, uh, let's let's uh, tease them with that. The easiest way is to go online to outlawtrailtheater.com or to go to the Outlaw Trail Theater Facebook page. You can buy tickets straight from there, too. If you don't want to right. do it online at home, you can run down to the Uinta County Heritage Museum and they can help you do it right there. And they can help you do it there. Mm -hmm. And when you say outlawtrailtheater.com, mm -hmm. is that theater with an E-R? Mm -hmm. It's All an E-R. Right. E theater with an E-R, so that's a good yes. distinction to yes. make. All right, well, we've got a lot more to talk about, so uh, uh, we'll do that in just a moment. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk more about Camelot, so stay tuned.
Welcome back to Local Point. Before the break, we were discussing with Nichelle Jackson and Ron Litton the UN uh, Arts Council Outlaw Trail summer production of Camelot. And I am so excited. If you, if you didn't catch that in the first part, now you know. Um, but opening on Monday, June 20th, we talked a little bit about tickets online mm -hmm. at Outlaw Trail Theater, ER, theater with an ER at the end, mm -hmm. dot com. Mm -hmm. Buy your tickets or directly from the Facebook page. That's very cool. You yeah. mentioned that and we had to leave for the break. But um, you might even be able to do it right from your phone. Can you they do, do you that? You do it right from your phone. They can deliver the tickets to your phone. How about that? How about <laughs> that? Very, very cool. So uh, there are 12 performances mm -hmm. and Camelot. Come on, get your tickets early. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Uh, so get online now as you're watching this. So let this be a reminder. Check out the website, buy your tickets. How much are tickets, by the way? Um, in advance, they're $11 for adults and $8 for children. And they cost a dollar more if you buy them at the gate. Okay, so, so you, you get a discount if you. There's an incentive. Yeah. There's a discount if you buy them early, yeah. um, but they are available if they're if they're left. That's the risk you run um, at the gate. And uh, you also mentioned that people can go to the museum. They can go to, to the, the Uinta County Heritage Museum, right there on Main Street downtown, right. and they'll help you. If you want to buy tickets. in person before right. the event, then that's where you can go. Uh, otherwise, get, get them online, and it's really an easy process, a lot easier than you think. It's clicks, and it's pretty uh, user-friendly. All, re all reserve seating, too. You can pick out your own seat. Oh, great. So no, no general admission. You choose where you want to sit, and then online you can see what's mm -hmm. available, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. We want to sit together, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's, now we've got some of the details down. Let's talk, and it closes again. July 2nd. July 2nd, July 2nd. What day of the week is that? It's a Saturday. All right, so before the 4th of July. Long right? weekend, yeah, but yeah. before the 4th. Yeah, all right. Now, let's talk about Camelot. Yeah. Nichelle, <laughs> what an opportunity. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, some of the, throw out some of the songs in Camelot. And we, we've all heard them, or many yeah. of us have, but listen yeah. to some of these Well, Camelot, songs. of course, is the title song of Camelot. Yes. Um, there's also the Simple Joys of Maidenhood. Right. Um, if Ever I Would Leave You, um, The Lusty Month of May, uh, and, um, oh, what's, oh. The Seven the, the, Deadly Virtues. Oh, good. That's the song that our villain sings. Yeah. <laughs> the the uh, what, what Do the Simple Folk Do? Yes. I don't know if that's the name of it, yep, but I'm yep. going by the songs in my head. Yes. Wonderful songs. Mm -hmm. And who are the writers? Lerner and Lowe mm -hmm. wrote all of it. I'll bet you've heard those names before, the, yeah. the great Lerner and Lowe. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Arthurian legend. For anybody who I'm, I'm speaking today, as if you already know, and I think <laughs> many, many do, but the, the, the great tale of King Arthur and uh, uh, Guinevere and Lancelot and the knights and the, all of the, the, the Mordred and, yes. and, and um, Merlin, uh, Merlin mm -hmm. right? Merlin and Nimue and all of these uh, fantastic characters of, of legend and of the stage. Yeah. So uh, you get to see them and enjoy. Step back into a different time period. I'm doing the advertising now. <laughs> Michelle, you tell me. So give yeah. me some of the, uh, the, the actors that are in the show this year. Rachel Wells is our fabulous Guinevere. She makes me cry all of the time. Uh, Joseph Harrison in is... In a good way. In a this good is, way. Oh, in a very good way. This is theater speak <laughs> it, for it's yes, a very good performance. It's a great right? performance. Not she, that she's hurting her. No, right. she does. She <laughs> is just beautiful and she really embodies just the grace and uh, beauty that Guinevere is. Um, King Arthur is played by Joseph Harrison, uh, and he he's the everyman. You know, you watch him and you just can't help smiling and loving him. He's great. Daniel Jackson is back, and he's playing Lancelot, a very, uh, very, what's the right word, knightly character. <laughs> he's <laughs> dressed up in armor and swinging his sword. He does great. Um, we also have Stephen Merrill returning. Uh, Sandrina Barlow is, is back and, and playing a role. Jacob Goddard, who hasn't been seen on the stage for a few years, but he's back and doing a great job as our Merlin. Right. Uh, he was your chip back yes, years ago. Yes. Yes. Right? Many years ago. He, yes. Yeah. He's Merlin. He's Merlin. This From year. chip to Merlin. I know. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That's another wonderful thing about community 
theater mm -hmm. and living in a, 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 the, a community such as uh, ours or the, the entire Uinta Basin. We are a theater loving place and Absolutely. you get to see some of these familiar faces taking on different roles, mm -hmm. uh, playing different parts and being involved in different stories. Um, well, good. That, that, yeah. I, I, you got me excited. I hope our audience <laughs> is excited as well. One more time. The website is outlawtrailtheater.com. And ER, <laughs> Outlaw Trail Theater with an ER. Sometimes we like to switch it around, but for this website, it's ER.com. There's also a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Tickets are discounted if you buy them in advance. Mm -hmm. Also available at the gate as long as they last. Yes. And uh, anything else we need to throw out in there? No, it's outdoors under the stars. I think we, we sometimes we forget to mention that. We're outdoor theater, and it's a right. different atmosphere. Yeah, and it so feels good. It. There's something oh, that fits with musical theater out there, mm -hmm. and it's a great place, and you're all great people. Thank you for the time. I know how much time uh, is spent in there. So thank you all for that. I'm sure you're very tired and anxious for opening. <laughs> And, uh, well, we hope to see you there. You'll see me there for sure. Thank you. We thank, thank you for watching Local Point. Stay tuned for this week's Community Calendar. to this week's community calendar presented by your local Vernal Area Chamber of Commerce. Building commerce one member at a time. Go to vernalchamber.com to learn more information about upcoming events. So let's get started with this week's schedule. On Tuesday, June 28th at 11 a.m., the Vernal Chamber hosts their weekly luncheon at the Golden Corral. On Wednesday, June 29th, the Uinta County Library will be hosting a documentary night and will feature American Bears, an adventure in the kindness of strangers. It's the last week to see the Outlaw Trail Theater's Camelot, so get tickets and go see it at the Western Park Amphitheater. On July 1st, the Uinta Recreation Center is hosting its Movies in the Park this week. They will feature Minions. Also, the beginning of July means the beginning of the Farmer's Market. So go out and see them downtown, outside of the library on Saturday. That's all we have for this week's Community Calendar. Thanks for watching. Go like VTV6 on Facebook, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>